What's up, Snakebit Larva fam? Once you exit House Beneviento, you're gonna get the four wing unborn key, open it here, and you're gonna run into a cutscene that you basically can't avoid. Here's your quick tutorial guide on how to defeat the first werewolf monster thing. Whoa! Yeah, he ain't playing around. Um, you're lucky that he can't burst through these doors, so you're kind of safe. And you basically just play in a huge game of hide and seek after this. Make sure you get the uh, file here if you're trying to get the Bookworm Trophy Achievement Challenge. It's pretty important. And also easy to miss, right? Probably because you just got bitten thrown by a freaking wolf. I don't even know what that thing is. I read about it. It's not a werewolf. It's a, a lichen. I was injected with more like wolf blood into its spine or something and apparently you can see that in like the research files in the research laboratory you're just like what the hell man and also seeing these dead horses I was like is that what that thing costs but um this thing will fucking hunt and kill you so keep your distance until you get the grenade launcher you know things gonna come hunting you down kind of get the lay of the land use the map and you'll kind of work your way around so I go up here and I just see the thing chilling. It's gonna do its patrol. You know, I shoot it. I didn't know if it can come on the roof. Yes, it can come on the roof. You know, it has a lot of health and that's why you need the grenade launcher. Like you could probably take it out with the shotgun and pistols if you want and your pipe bombs, but you're gonna wanna get that grenade launcher and why not just get it, right? I mean, it's in the game for a reason. But once he sees you, I mean, the thing's kind of dumb, so. Just kind of keep your distance, hide out, chill out until, you know, he goes back on patrol and you can sneak around him. So now that he's kind of, he's there, I'm going to kind of wait, and then I'm going to run for that little hole in the second house. And you basically have to do this, follow the trail, go from house to house, keep your distance. Oh, see, now he's gone. But now, now I make my run for it. Now that I'm in your safe, you know, get back to the top and then start plotting for the next house. Sorry, I kind of take my time here, but you know, this is all in real time. I don't want to cut any footage because when you first do this, this shit's kind of scary. You know, you just got this big ass freaking man with werewolf, whatever. I think they're called vocalar or something. It's it, the word that they're called in the story is Romanian for werewolf. But you know, your first encounter, you're like, what the hell? I don't even know if I could kill the damn thing. I just thought maybe you're just supposed to go around it. But now run your ass in here. You can kind of make a run for the grenade launcher, but you want to be safe. But in here, you'll see a couple light guns. Just take them out. Um, I don't know why my shotgun accuracy was so bad. This guy took bites me. Oh, no.
but you know do the normal drill clean house make sure there's no items that you miss or any items that are currently there you can't there are items up here that you can miss so you just got to be a little careful and then this next part this is kind of where you got to bone out and make that run for it So you are kind of safe in here, but he does this patrol and then you have a kind of a short window here to really just kind of book it for that grenade launcher. And then on top of that, just remember when you get to the freaking grenade launcher, you need to use that iron insignia key, you know, easy to get like kind of sweaty palms there, right? But see, I, I'm, I'm trying to make a run for it and this dude's just patrolling. Like I make some good distance here and then I'm like, oh shit, he's right there and of course he sees me. The good news is you can run back into this house and it's kind of a safe zone. He can't get past the door, so. You know, and why not just pop a couple shots at him when you see him kind of peeking here. But just remember, once he engages you, you're going to have to want to wait like another minute or two because it's going to take him a minute or two to get back away from you on his patrol. It sucks because you're just looking it's like damn it it's right there it's right there hurry up like, break the window and just run for it right see so he, he's still kind of patrolling the area gotta wait gotta wait patience patience Beats getting mauled to death, right? But there, I kind of saw him take that left, so now I know he's kind of going in the opposite direction. And, you know, give him like 30 seconds, 15 seconds, and then I just book it for the water mill. Go, 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 go. Your first time playing it is, man, you'll be, you'll be fucking like, ah! Because you're like, you don't know if this thing's gonna just run and jump and slash you. Like, this game has so many crazy surprises. But yeah, once you get in, you know, you're gonna get the grenade launcher right there on the left. I just run past it, but there's a lockpick, and then there's obviously something in the box. Oh, explosive rounds. What do you know? You get a grenade launcher. Don't forget the lockpick. I did here. I end up getting it later. I was ready to blow his ass the fucking hell, but I didn't even see him. And I was like, you know what? You never know. You could be ready and waiting for him, and then he just kind of just charges at you, and you miss with the freaking grenade launcher. So, my best advice, run back to the original house that you got tossed in when you in your first encounter here, and then just get on the roof and just blow his ass up. That constant growling is like unnerving because you're like, where is this guy? But yeah, once they're up here, you should be able to get a kind of good scope on the whole map. Oh, there you see. Then once you see his ass, just get ready to fucking launch one. Oh, but see. I mean, I swear I hit him with a pipe bomb, and I swear I hit him with a freaking shotgun, right? Oh, and my aim is horrible right there. <laughs> but now I'm like, you know what? Time to run back in. I don't know how Ethan didn't break his ankles there, but whatever. Yeah, 
Yes, I know my aim is bad, sorry. I'm not a grenade launcher expert. Get back on the roof. You must get to see that was two grenade launcher shots. Probably a couple bullets with a couple shotguns and then what, two pipe bombs? This thing's pretty tanky. It's got a lot of health. You get the crystal beef for the ward. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Hopefully see you guys next time. Hopefully see you soon. I appreciate all the support.